It is early and I'm doing my makeup. And Aaron's still sleeping. That's why I'm whispering. But gotta get ready. They're gonna come pick me up downstairs in the lobby. Downstairs, not downstairs, in the lobby. So I have to head out pretty soon. I'm walking with my phone flashlight because it is pretty dark, as you guys can see. I'm just trying to make it to the reception. So I'm walking along the lighted path here. It's just really dark at this time of day. You can see the side of this is lit up so you can kind of see as you're walking through. It's kind of. Look at how pretty all of the lights are at night. We are out here, the sun is coming up, and this is our hot air balloon before it's a balloon. I also wanted to show you guys really quick, I love that this van has a bucket list on it because taking a hot air balloon ride has been on my bucket list forever. Oh, and actually I've seen the Northern Lights. I haven't gone skydiving. And no, not probably never gonna do a triathlon. So this may be the only one that I cross off this particular bucket list. <laughs> There's a hot air balloon all the way up there already. They're still getting the balloon set up. I'm freezing, my hands are so cold. But look at how cool that is. You can kind of see inside. It reminds me of grade school. Like we would build one of these and then everyone would have to go inside and like run around. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Comment in the description down below if you guys know what I mean when I say that you used to do this like in grade school. But it looks cool. It's like a little jungle gym in there. Anyway. off my jacket and the balloon is getting deflated well actually it's deflated already not getting 
and we made it back safe and sound to all of you afraid of hot air ballooning it's totally safe and our driver came to rescue us and feed us I don't know if I mentioned but we literally landed in the middle of the desert so we're just chilling <laughs> like middle of the desert so that is it that was our hot air balloon for the day pretty cool Look at this gorgeous breakfast with champagne, orange juice, it's and it's beautiful. Look at the backdrop, you guys. It is amazing. My view at the moment, I'm literally in my system working, but this is the gorgeous, gorgeous view of the mountains. Sorry, my hand is really shaky because I'm still kind of on my exhilaration high from the hot air balloon ride, but this view is insane but I survived. I don't think I was really scared at any point. It obviously felt a little bit scary looking over the edge when we were 7,000 feet above the ground, but you know, it didn't really feel all too terrible. So I quite enjoyed it and our team was awesome. We had Ken and Tommy. It's like, I will remember those two names, Ken and Tommy. And uh, we had the chief pilot as our pilot for the hot air balloon ride, so that was really nice. But overall, it was just a great experience. Really nice. Can't recommend them enough. I'm going to leave their link down in my description box below if you guys do ever plan on coming to Phoenix and you want to go on a hot air balloon ride, they are the ones that you have to book. They've actually been in this area for the longest out of all the other hot air balloon companies. They really know what they're doing, so I highly recommend. Super fun. I'm still on that exhilaration high, my hands are still kind of shaking. <laughs> I was trying to hold my camera as steadily as I could while we were up in the air because I obviously don't want shaky footage, that's the most annoying thing. But I also didn't want to drop my camera because I don't have anything, I don't have a handle or anything on my vlogging camera so I was trying to hold on to it as best as I could. But yeah, for right now I'm going to be checking in on emails, doing some work, and then I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Working to edit today's vlogmas video. And the view is pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Hey guys, I'm now walking to meet my friend from college uh, down at the lobby of this property. And I think she's already here, so I'm a little ways away. I still have a little bit of walking to do. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm wearing that Brad color from Lawless Beauty. Annie Lawless created this and it is such an incredible consistency. It's very lightweight, it's not drying at all, and I'm just obsessed with this color. I think it really matches my skin tone nicely, so I'm a big fan. I love it. Also, I'm carrying my laptop in case I have to stay at this place for a little bit longer and wait for Aaron to come get me because we're going to one of his friend's houses tonight. So I have the laptop just in case, you know, I may need to do some vlog editing for Vlogmas or write a blog post. You never know. Whenever the occasion strikes, you know what I mean? Just gotta do it in the moment. You can go for it. <laughs> Pomegranate guacamole. This is very interesting looking. And I like the look of these tortilla chips too. And this is Nicole. So I just got back from having dinner with my college friend, Nicole, and then Aaron showed up after his class, had some dinner, some drinks, and now we're back at our hotel. The next thing we're gonna do is go hang out with one of Aaron's friends, but I'm not taking the vlogging camera with me there. So I'm gonna leave you guys here for the day. It's been already a very exciting day with the hot air balloon and all of that madness. So I hope you guys like this vlog and I will see you tomorrow.